32-year-old Jackie found a lump in her breast on Christmas Eve last year. When she got diagnosed with breast cancer, she knew straight away she wanted treatment to give her the chance to still have children. The fertility part was actually really relentless and I think that was purely because when you've been diagnosed with cancer, facing surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy is a gruelling, gruelling kind of process in itself. Add in fertility and all of a sudden you're kind of overwhelmed with all these instructions. Chemotherapy for any cancer can affect women's ovaries so they can't effectively produce eggs. Jackie's medical team referred her for fertility treatment before her chemo started but not every young woman has the chance to make that choice. According to Breast Cancer Care, 88% of women under 45 weren't referred to a fertility clinic ahead of cancer treatment. They say that means 5,000 younger breast cancer patients across the UK are missing out on fertility care. Researchers also found that 35% of breast cancer specialists aren't even telling younger patients how treatment could affect their fertility. Campaigners say that needs to change. It's a very difficult time um, when you're giving a young woman their diagnosis and sorting out their treatment plans. So there's a lot going on, but we urgently are asking for healthcare professionals to address this because actually it can be simple and quick. The NHS says guidelines say women with breast cancer should be given advice on the impacts treatment can have on their fertility. After her treatment, Jackie now has seven embryos stored. With her cancer treatment over, she's now looking forward to the future. I think it's easy to focus on the fight at hand when you're going through the process, but if you really want babies as part of your kind of future, it's such an important thing to think about, and I'm really glad that I had it as part of my care pathway.